G'day everyone, welcome back to In My Shed, I'm BC. I've titled this one, There's a Trap in This Grinder, a couple of things I didn't think of and this is what happens when you're building something without drawings from scratch, uh, from scrap. You end up, you build yourself into a corner and you've got to work your way out. Well, a couple of things have happened. Uh, there's a handle extended now, that was an easy one. I've put a slot in here and I'll bring you in closer later on. The slot in here so there's a indexing latch will drop down into the indexing uh, disc at the back here and that can have as many divisions as you want. Uh, I went for two and four on this one and another I'll make with three and six. Not three and sixpence. Uh, the pivot block in there had to be linished away at an angle because the convergence of the two parts meant that the uh, pivot block was fouling the main body of the grinder. I've made up a pivot pin. This time I didn't get caught. I threaded both ends of it in case I put the wrong end in. I can always put a bolt in there and a slide hammer and extract it. Uh, in the dim past I've done something where I couldn't. Okay, uh, as I built it I started to realise that the pivot up here was fully cantilevered off the back of the frame. There will be more in this demonstration later. So I've had to put a gusset up inside the guts and that meant that it couldn't pivot down far enough to get enough sweep at the front. So I've had to do some modifications to the body itself. All in all, uh, for something that's an unusual build for me and something I've never designed, I think I'm coming along reasonably well. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer and you can have a squiz. Once again, the main spindle is just a uh, ER32 chuck with a 25mm plain shank bought from M&G products down in Melbourne uh, quite cheap and very very good on concentricity and that just pulls the air, make it a little bit lighter for you to see what's going on ok, I'll zoom in with the camera and give you a look ok, zoom in I'll try not to get my big meaty paws in front of it all that often, although it'll have to be uh, happening to get a bit of a look in there. Okay, we'll take the pivot pin out. Obviously, drill the tap both ends, and this is where you drop it on your thumb and get a great big chip out the back of the thumb. It hurts. Okay, what have I done? First up, I was worried about this not taking the weight, that's not the problem but uh, providing a lot of chatter. It's only welded across the back. I don't think that was rigid enough. So I've put a little bit of 6mm plate in as a gusset and welded it underneath this item and down the back quite crudely. And while we're in there with the welding, this main body part is welded in three places to the uh, base of it that swivels on the base plate. So I'll be setting it up with protractors, I think I won't be marking degrees around the bottom, uh, that's a little bit too far for what I want to do. And that's just a nut on the stud that's welded through to the base plate. So tightening it up at a set angle is going to be very, very easy. But much to my dismay, putting that gusset in only gave me about 5 degrees below horizontal for the main body and I wasn't sure that that would give me enough room or enough movement to get the sweep I wanted at the front of it. So lo and behold, big grinder slot on the back and big grinder on the left only to find out it's got a big round on the other left closer into the pivot so yep, you get your left and rights mixed up and then I marked it with the sharpie a little bit too far over so I had to grind it out again but now it comes down fairly well I get probably 30 degrees below the horizontal which means the front foot will sweep up quite well that's a look at the slot that the latching plate will run in. I think the slots in the indexing disc are a little bit narrower than that and I can't remember how I set this up to machine those slots so I might just grind down the front of the latching plate. It's only going to be a bit of 6 mil plate. No biggie with that one. The next job is machining a fair bit of this face away. Uh, it's got to come over uh, quite a bit closer to the bore. If you can imagine 
a plate very similar to this or a disc similar to this will be turning with the spindle and out of there will be either short shafts or small ball bearings whatever you want to make for it and they will ride up on an angled plate on the side like a can as they rise up then they'll drop down on the other side and that will give you axial relief well, I'm going to have a plate here that will be pivoted at the bottom with a fastener up the top will be another fastener and there will be a slot in the plate so you can pivot the plate out and control the amount of clearance it's quite an ingenious idea it doesn't give you a perfect conical um, clearance land but it does a good enough job and I think that it should be quite easy for anybody to manufacture up on this surface I'll just be bolting a bit of angle uh, to the top face and a bolt through that for pivoting of the latch there so I think that part will be easy but so far the manufacturing has been reasonable even that slot um, that's about 12 or 13 millimeters deep with a 6 mil slot drill that went quite easy uh, yeah quite happy yeah, um, also reaffirming that the cutters I bought from America are far superior they just last and last and last they're damn good steel so over this weekend I will try and get the uh, cam plate set up on it although I'm not sure I'll have the time to mill that right out and make the plate and the pivots etc I've got some family dues on but look as it is uh, you can actually mount this spindle in it and probably sharpen drills it swings through a sufficient pivot if you just line up the existing cutting edge with the edge of the grinding wheel you'll be near enough and the cross feed on your table to get the in feed into the wheel so it is a reality it's as good as working so thanks for sticking with me so far uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos they're all marked up drill grind to build on my youtube channel so you should be able to see the previous i think there's four or five videos i've gone into it so far and i think i will put them into a series any questions put them down in the comments and if you haven't so far please like and subscribe i need the viewers okay thanks guys